What happens in your brain when you make a decision? How can you make better ones? From choosing a cereal to finding a flight path to safety, science writer Jonah Lehrer tackles decision making, small and large, in his book How We Decide. And whenever you make a decision, there's this argument taking place inside your head. And sometimes the argument is between rational areas, like the prefrontal cortex, and between areas like the amygdala or nucleus accumbens, areas that generate these powerful emotions. And so the key in terms of making the right decision is figuring out how to reconcile this argument, which side you should listen to. Neuroscience shows that successfully choosing a cereal might use the more emotional areas of the brain. But what about life and death decisions? So there's also a tug of war, an emotional argument taking place when we have to make very stressful situations. It's hard to imagine a more stressful situation than being in a cockpit when you lose total engine power over New York City. 7-0. Yeah, this is uh, Cactus 1539. Hit first, so you're lost to us on both hits. It's returning back towards LaGuardia. The amygdala is automatically turned on, and so it starts pumping out these intense feelings of fear and anxiety. And what pilots train to do, and they train to do this in flight simulators, is how to keep a lid on those emotions. How to make sure those emotions don't get out of control until the fear doesn't turn into panic. Third strike, he lost all engine, he lost the thrust in the engines, so he's returning immediately. Cactus 1529, which engines? He lost thrust in both engines, he said. Got it. What they practice is the ability to think through those feelings, and that requires the prefrontal cortex, this uniquely human brain area. And so in the case of Captain Sullenberger, what that allowed him to do was to take a deep breath, to realize his fear wasn't going to save him, that his fear wasn't useful. And so instead, what he had to do was look at his airspeed indicator, his altitude, look how far away the runway in Teterboro, New Jersey was, or whether or not he could return to LaGuardia, and realize that the best decision he could make at that moment was to land on the Hudson. So that was very much a rational decision. In many respects, the brain is like a Swiss Army knife. It's stuffed full of all these different tools, these different ways of thinking. We can rely on the amygdala, or the nucleus accumbens, or the prefrontal cortex. And, and by using metacognition, we can really tailor this thought process to the task at hand. So, in a sense, learning about how we think can allow us to think better.